We've created a simple project to demonstrate the Atmel Studio simulator. The simulator lets you run your code in a software emulation of a real microcontroller, in our case, an AVR. The simulator provides access to all the peripherals in the real microcontroller, but no external devices. So, if you want to apply external signals, you have to do that yourself, either by manually updating the registers or by creating a stimuli file. Using the simulator is no different than using a hardware tool. You can select the simulator as your current debug tool under Project Settings. Also, when no debugger is connected, the No Debugger button is visible. If you click this button, you open the Debugging pane of the Project Settings window. A drop-down list with all available debuggers is found here, and the simulator is always an option in this drop-down. Select the simulator. When returning to the editor, the No Debugger button has been replaced by AVR Simulator. The last used debugger is always shown here, if connected. To start the debug session, select Debug and Break in the Debug menu. Debugging starts and halts at the beginning of main. Let's place a breakpoint in the while loop and start execution. Highlight the counter variable, right click, select Breakpoint, and insert breakpoint. Click the Play button or press F5 to run to the breakpoint. OK, let's look at the affected registers in the I.O. view. If you don't have the I.O. view open, press the I.O. window button in the Debug toolbar, or select it from the Debug Windows menu. All the peripheral registers of the part we're debugging are shown here. You can monitor any changes that are made from software, and also manipulate the values to provide input. Our simple loop just increments a counter and puts the value in the out register of port E. Click Port Configuration Port E in the I.O. view. You can now see all the registers that belong to port E in the lower pane of the I.O. view. Look at the out register of port E. Now click the Play button, or press F5, to run one iteration of the loop and break at the counter plus plus line again. Any register that is red has changed since the last break. If a bit is a solid red block, it signifies that the change was from a 0 to a 1. If there is only a red outline of the bit, it was the other way around, from a 1 to a 0. Let's change the output value of port F. Do this either by entering a new value in the value field, for example, hex AA, or change bits individually by clicking in the bit fields. For more information about debugging in Atmel Studio, please watch the videos In System Debugging with JTAG ICE 3 or In System Debugging with SAM ICE. These videos demonstrate more of the debugging capabilities of Atmel Studio, which are all available in the simulator as well. You can also find more information about the simulator in the Atmel Studio help files, for example, a list of supported devices.